I'm Joe Tilio for NJ Sports Now on this Tuesday, February the 3rd. Tomorrow, National Signing Day for collegiate football players coming and making the jump from high school to college. They have to make their decision on Wednesday. NJ Signing Day will have a big show for you on NJ.com tomorrow at 10 a.m. And as we get set for that and you start looking at what Rutgers is doing here, who they have already in the fold, what surprises we may see on Wednesday as Rutgers puts together their class for 2015. The one theme that is very obvious here among Rutgers recruits, you follow some of them on Twitter, you look at their tweets, especially during the Super Bowl and the New England Patriots being the world champions this year, the success of Rutgers University players making the jump to the NFL, I think it's having an impact here on New Jersey recruits, on kids really all over the country that now don't just look at Rutgers as an in-state school if you're a New Jersey kid. Don't just look at Rutgers as an opportunity to play now in the Big Ten. Both very nice draws if you're a local player that wants to play Division I football in a big conference. But the last decade or so, and this really started back with Greg Schiano and Ray Rice, who obviously now is, is not revered and not pumped up by the school the way he once was, but he did have a darn successful NFL career before he got himself in trouble. Ray Rice, to all the players on the Patriots this past season, led by safety Devin McCourty, of course his brother, Jason McCourty with the Tennessee Titans. Rutgers, with the coaching, with the ability to get some playing time, and, and with the development that you get when you get to Rutgers, it's pretty clear that Rutgers players, and Bill Belichick, of all the coaches in the NFL, now a four-time champion as a head coach, vouches for this. Rutgers players, over the last you know X amount of years, really have been ready to make impacts in the NFL. And if you're a recruit here in New Jersey, you're choosing between Rutgers or Boston College or UConn or Pitt or Virginia or any school like that of the same kind of ilk as Rutgers, the ability to see recent alum not just getting to the NFL, not just finding their way into an NFL draft and finding their way through a combine and getting drafted, but developing during the collegiate career, and then getting to the NFL and succeeding in the NFL. To me, that has become one of the biggest draws for Rutgers. You know, over the years, Rutgers, when you, know, you were thinking about it logically, you said, why would a kid, a legitimate Division I kid, choose Rutgers over another school? And yes, if you're a Jersey kid, you might want to stay home. That's the number one draw. Number two now, it was a Big East school. Now it's a Big Ten school. That has some prestige to it. You could play in some meaningful games in Ohio State, in Michigan, against Penn State. That kind of thing is fun. National TV, the Big Ten network, all of that certainly plays a role. But now I think the third thing, if you're a legitimate prospect and you look at yourself as someone who has aspirations of one day maybe making football a professional career, you know, back in the day you said Rutgers, how many Rutgers guys really make the NFL and have long sustained careers in the National Football League? Now those numbers keep rising and the players are more high profile. I mean, McCourty, part of a secondary with the Patriots that helped win a Super Bowl. He will have a big payday this coming offseason in free agency. His brother, Jason McCord, as I mentioned, the Titans, very good player. And there's a slew of players from Rutgers that continue to play well. Tyler Croft, the tight end, is probably going to be the next one that makes an impact at the next level. And as we get close to signing day, and we'll have our signing day show on Wednesday, I imagine the idea when some of these kids do put their pen into the name on paper, and they say, I am part of the Scarlet Knights program, isn't just for the next four years, but it's looking forward and saying, if I progress as the type of player I think I am, maybe one day the NFL will be there for me and a sustained career in the NFL could be there. That is really a big draw for the Scarlet Knights. I'm Joe Gillia for NJ Sports. Now.